to Britney Spears and some really, really good news for her, um, which is good. Britney could use some good news, right? Uh, her memoir, uh, The Woman in Me, which came out this week, is doing gangbusters, as they say. Um, it is breaking records for uh, memoir sales, and this one is it racking up, what is it, 400? It's more than 400,000, which is a huge number. Um, actually, I just got off the phone with somebody before I came up here. Mm -hmm. They're gonna print another 900,000 uh, mm. hard copies of this. Now, will they sell them? We don't know, but the 400,000 is big. Not as big as Prince Harry for the first week. I think that was 1.3 million, but this has only been out for a day or two. She is gonna make 25% uh, of the net profits um, from the books. And now remember, that, that money is against the advance, advance she got. Right. The advance she got, we found out, there's been, there have been reports it was 15 million. We found out it's not 15. She got 12.5 million as an advance. So the money that she's making with this 25%, you, you add it up and once it reaches 12.5 million, she's even yeah. there and then everything, and then everything else after. she gets. Um, and then the question is, how much is this book going to sell? Yeah, you guys, and she even posted online thanking her fans. Like, she is thrilled about all the attention she is getting. She said, my book is the highest selling celebrity memoir in history, and it's only day one. Which, by the way, you guys, book came out yesterday. I have already finished it. It was totally worth the $18 and whatever change. I mean, it is so juicy, and a lot of people are reading the book and kind of making it like an interactive experience where, you know, the parts where she talks about maybe one more time and filming the music video. Then you go to your computer, you pull up the music video, and then she talks about the, the VMA performance and the snake hissing at her. Then you go back on your computer you couldn't and you pull see, up the VMA experience. But which you couldn't see flip. on the VMAs. So, again, this is her version and then what the rest of us saw. So the criticism of the book, Charlie, and since you read it, is... She, t she does not take accountability for anything in terms of what she did, that she's blaming everybody else per pretty much for everything. I have not read it. You have your take. I think she's explaining her feelings. Taking accountability, that's one thing, but she's just explaining what was going through her head during those times. Like, for example, um, at one point she admits that she was a raging nightmare when she was pregnant when um, her and Kevin were having their house built. And she even said like, oh, God bless those construction workers because, you know, I wanted the floor to be marble and I wanted the house to be perfect. And she admits that she was kind of like in a bad mood, but then explains that she felt like she had postpartum depression. So yes, you could look at it like, oh, she wasn't taking accountability. But I look at it as like, now we're knowing what she was really going through like during some of these right. crazy times. Um, by the way, the book is gaining a lot of interest from people I think outside of my generation. Like even my aunt like wrote me last night and she was like, hey, can I get that book? I'm seeing it all over. People are talking about it. She wasn't even a fan, but she like wants to read it. So I think it's like reaching outside of just millennials. Although I was told by somebody connected to all of this that Britney fans typically will jump on whatever she does immediately. Right. So when the Will I Am song came out, for example, it instantly went to number one because every all of her fans immediately bought it, and then the next then week it, it went off. way down. Right. And so they. Same thing. By the way, we say same thing happened with Taylor Swift's movie, that it had a huge first right. week and then it dropped. It's off. It's a similar but, thing. Yeah. Um, so the question now is now that all the big hardcore fans have bought it, what's going to happen for the next sales. few days, and we'll see. Hi, I'm Amina from Cliffwood, New Jersey, and I just feel like Brittany deserves all of this success. I'm so happy for her. The book, I feel like it can help you understand her more. You know, she's been through so much. She's such an icon, and she's accomplished so much, and it's um, so interesting to know, like, the backstory behind everything that she's been through. Yeah, she's going to make a lot of money off of this if it keeps going. Yes, she is. <laughs>